form. And this tutorial is designed to give you, a WordPress site owner, a quick view of how you can come in and manage and edit your uh, site content. Here I've logged into my own site, jacobspaulson.com, into my dashboard. Now if you have any problem getting to this point, uh, just navigate to your website in the address bar, put a hyphen and then WP, excuse me, a backslash WP hyphen admin and uh, navigate to that page and that will take you directly to the login where you can insert your username and password and once you've logged in it will bring you here to this dashboard. From the dashboard there's a variety of different settings here on, on, the, on the dashboard you get kind of a quick view of some things going on you can see how many posts and pages you have, categories and tags there's a variety of other little snippets that you can have here on your home page I have for example some recent comments on my blog etc. Uh, the thing to focus really on is over here on the left, which is your navigation menu to all the variety of settings on WordPress. Uh, immediately underneath the dashboard is a link to your posts. I'm going to go ahead and cl click on that. Posts are, of course, uh, the, uh, the ongoing updates that you post to your blog. Uh, by clicking on posts, it's going to give you a view of all the different posts you have on your site currently. Now, to add a new post is very simple. Up here uh, next to the word post, you just click on Add New and that will take you into the uh, add new page. I have a separate tutorial available on my site under the tutorials page uh, that go, takes you through the proper way to add new posts to a WordPress site as far as how to make sure they're properly being optimized uh, etc. So I don't want to spend too much time on the details uh, but briefly you can see that it's pretty simple. You put your title in here at the top, all your site content, excuse me, your post content uh, here in this content box bold italic underline pretty basic text editor you choose your categories you add tags uh, an excerpt if you, if you choose and when you're done uh, you can publish it over here with the blue publish button you can also uh, save it as a draft or change the date and time you want to publish the post underneath the post menu there's an option for media media is the menu that uh, will help you control all of the different videos and pictures etc that you upload to your site uh, so this shows recent uh, pictures and things that I've uploaded here, whether it be banners or pictures or videos or other types of content. It's not necessary to upload pictures or images here in the media in order to put them on posts and pages. In the process of creating a new post uh, on the page that we were just on, you can actually add pictures directly from that menu. There's also a link menu. You won't spend a lot of time here on the links menu either. Uh, the links is primarily a way to come in and add a, uh, a list of uh, sites perhaps, maybe other friends' blogs or uh, other vendors you work with that you may want to display in the sidebar of your site. Uh, but the links that you want to display within your posts, within your pages, it's not necessary to put them here. Uh, the pages menu is pretty straightforward. It shows all the pages that are on your site. Uh, these ones that have a little uh, hyphen next to them, those are subpages. Uh, depending on the type of menu uh, you have, those, those subpages might display like this. Uh, like they do on my site. Editing pages or creating new pages is very simple. So for example, if I wanted to um, edit, uh, for example, the uh, tutorials page, I can click on the tutorials page and it will open up a similar text editor like we just saw recently on the post page. And it's pretty straightforward as far as making changes um, or creating a new page uh, for that matter. Pretty straightforward as far as you know, titles and content, uh, etc. Uh, when it comes to pages, a couple things that are different um, from posts is you can dictate whether or not this is a parent page or a child page. So parent page means that it's going to appear at the very top of the menu versus being a sub page of another page, uh, as you can see there. You can also dictate the order that will show up in the menu. So I have the tutorials uh, rather you know, further down in the list. I have it set as number seven, so it's, it's further down in the, uh, in the list options there. But if you ever want to input or uh, paste in any type of HTML content, uh, that can be done by clicking up here where this visual and HTML tab is. You can click on HTML and that will display the actual code for this post or page where it might be easier to post, paste something in like an embed code from uh, YouTube or wherever. The next underneath the pages menu is the comments menu. Uh, so the comments menu is uh, right here. The comments shows you all the different comments that have come in on your site. Here it's pretty easy to unapprove, reply, edit, uh, spam, and trash different comments. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, so some of the menu options here you see are default ones that come with all WordPress installations. Others, such as the store menu, are specific and custom because of a plugin that I've installed. So you probably won't see the store plugin or the busy bee plugin. The busy bee is the name of the theme. Uh, the template that I'm using, which we'll talk about here in a minute, and it has its own menu. You, though you might have a, a menu for your theme that you have installed. 
Speaking of themes, I'm going to go ahead and click on Appearance, which is the next menu in our list. Appearance is a place where two very important things happen. One, you manage your actual themes. And so the themes are the actual uh, templates, if you will, that within WordPress that arrange your site to be a certain way. So right now I'm using a theme called Busy Bee, which makes my site like, look like this. If I wanted to change that, for example, if I wanted to use this Newsweek theme, I could activate this or preview it. I've gone ahead and clicked on that. So now that it's active, it's the current theme, I can come over here to my site, and you'll see how that's changed now that all that content is fitting into that Newsweek theme that, uh, that I had installed on the site. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back before too many people uh, get a headache from looking at my site. And just like that, uh, we're, we're back to how it was before. So changing the overall template and look and feel of your site is not difficult. Uh, searching for themes, there's a lot of themes out there. Um, you can go to the actual wordpress.org website and search for themes, or you can just do a Google search and find a variety of really good looking themes. Also important in the appearance menu, underneath themes, there's another option that says widgets. Uh, widgets are, is where you dictate the, the pieces of content that show up specifically in the sidebar or perhaps in the footer of your website. So here's my widgets menu. And so the first part, kind of here in the main body, shows the available widgets, widgets that are available to me to insert into my website. Uh, now, the, the ones I s you see here may be different than the ones you see on your site. Once again, a lot of these are available to me because I've installed specific plugins uh, that give me widgets and options that I can insert into my sidebar. You might also not have as many options over here on the right. I have sidebar 1, sidebar uh, footer 1, 2, and 3, and a side sidebar top. You might have less options depending on the theme or template that you're using. But it gives you an idea. Uh, adding, uh, adding new widgets is pretty straightforward. You just come over here and grab the widget you want to use, click and drag it over to the section. It will uh, pull down a quick menu of options. If there's any options for you to choose from, you can select those here. And then when you're done, you can hit Save. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Pretty straightforward as far as adding widgets. You can change the order that they, they appear in as well. So for example, these this list you see here dictates these widgets here on my site. So this is the social media plugin. This is the ad plugin my store plugin. And if we come back here, you'll see here the social media widgets, my random ads, my products, polls, etc. So the widgets area is what identifies what's going to be viewable in these different custom sections of your site, such as the sidebar. Also in the appearance menu over here on the left is an editor. The editor is where you can actually edit the, the raw code of the template or theme if you're an advanced user. Underneath the appearance menu is the plugins menu. The plugins menu is where you actually add new third-party um, software and programs for your WordPress site. That's obviously the most appealing thing about WordPress is that there's a bunch of people out there uh, designing and writing the code for different types of functionality. So different things you may want your site to do, there might be plugins out there for that. And so you can come here to this menu and, and add, click on Add New, and you can search for different plugins that are actually available, and from this menu you can install them. So for example, if I'm looking for a plugin uh, that will allow me to connect with PayPal. I can type in PayPal, click on search plugins, and it will show me a list of uh, plugins out there that have to do with PayPal. I can read the descriptions, see the user ratings, and install them directly from this menu. Just clicking on plugins actually gives me a list of all the plugins I currently have installed on my site. Underneath the plugins menu is a users menu where I can see the different users that currently have access to my site. Right now I'm the only person who has access to my site, but if you have other authors or contributors or admins, you could create user accounts for them here. The tools menu is a place where you can import, uh, you know, from a separate, if you're, if you have, if you're migrating over from like Blogspot or from WordPress.com or from some other blogging site, you can import those blogs here. And also in my case, it's also where I can control my ads and some other things. Uh, because of some of the plugins I've installed. There's settings menu. Uh, there's some generic uh, settings here that you probably see in yours as well, like general writing, reading, discussion. These are worth going through. I'm not going to go through each one. Uh, most of these you shouldn't have to mess with uh, really uh, on a very regular basis, uh, but it's worth familiarizing yourself with them. And then you're going to have a variety of different settings that are specific to the plugins you've installed on your site. And so they're probably going to be very different uh, to the ones I have here on mine. Uh, but these are all just different menus where you can control these various settings and plugins. And then down here as well, these are also uh, unique menus that are uh, appearing because of the plugins I have installed on this site. And so that gives you a, a kind of a quick uh, overview of WordPress and how you can get in and change some of your content. This is Jacob S. Paulson. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.